Hi, my name is Lexi Jong and welcome to my channel. So if you're new here, I am a regular person who enjoys brightening my life a little bit every day with luxury makeup. So today I have with me the new Gucci Puget Beauté Matte Natural Powder. And when this was released or when I first started seeing it around, I only saw the darker shades, so three and above, and three kept going out of stock. But you know, because of that, I didn't order until just recently when I finally saw the lighter shades. When I ordered this, they had shade zero available, shade two available, and then the deeper shades, shade one still wasn't available. I don't know if it had sold out already or if they just hadn't released it yet. Um, but just a note that I think the colors are still going in and out. I purchased mine from Selfridges. Now let's go over what this product claims. Okay, so according to Gucci, this is a smoothing face powder with a matte finish, and there are 12 shades for a seamless match. It's a buildable formula that can be worn alone to enhance a natural skin or over makeup for touch-ups throughout the day, and it does have a delicate floral fragrance. And I have to say, I was worried about the fragrance. I was afraid it was gonna be overpowering, but I have been wearing this for the past few days, uh, probably, I think, four days now I've worn it, and the fragrance really is pretty subtle. Okay, so there's a combination of micro-reflecting lamellar powders and soft focus pigments that spread smoothly on the skin, creating an even luminous complexion while emollient agents melt on and provide a silky, comfortable feel. The supple, ultra-thin formula glides on easily, allowing for a customized and buildable application from light to medium coverage. Okay, so I purchased shade zero, so I won't really be using it more as a powder foundation. Um, I believe this is supposed to be their translucent shade. And this is 0.35 ounces or 10 grams. And it is made in Italy. The ingredients are here. So please note that cornstarch is listed. I know some people have issues with cornstarch. Mm -hmm. When you open the box, you get this, it's a really soft pale blush pink. Um, velvet pouch and then here is the compact and I think the packaging on this is absolutely gorgeous so you know you've got it it's got a, a nice hefty weight to it and you've got this soft blush pink top when you open it up inside you have the mirror and I left the sticker on so I could open it with you guys but we do have the powder here okay so here is shade zero so you can see it's not going to be like a plain white, it, but it is like a super, super light cream or ivory shade. And then if you look at the compact here, you have this little tab here. You can lift this up and this here is the puff that it comes with. So it's a, like a little sponge, but it's more like a velour puff and it is pretty thin. So you can actually see there is tons of space left in here. Um, up to this lip, that's where this will sit in, but you still have plenty of space <laughs> if you wanted to put um, a different kind of puff or something in there, I feel like that would fit as well. This is refillable, so um, I haven't seen refills available yet, but it is a refillable compact. Okay, so I am very excited to share this with you guys. Okay, so, so far on my face, all I have on is the Westman Atelier Stick Foundation in shade N. I did do my eyes and I used the Sisley Stilo Lumiere in shade one under my eyes. So let's go ahead and we're gonna test out the powder. So I'm gonna go ahead and take the Wayne Goss Airbrush and I'm using the flat side to pick up some powder, tap that off, and I'm gonna use this to set under my eyes. I'm gonna use the same brush to kind of go around my nose and lip lines right now. And then I'm going to use the Sonia G Master Face Brush to apply this to the rest of my face. Okay, so starting with just this side, you can see right now it does look a little powdery. 
but if you wait a few minutes, it really does kind of melt into your skin. Okay, so it's been just about 60 seconds. So it hasn't been a long time yet, but you can already see that the pigments in the powder are starting to melt into my skin. And, you know, I'm getting kind of like a luminous look. So if you compare this side of my face to this side, I think you can definitely see a difference. All right, so let's go ahead. I'm going to add my makeup to this side and we'll let that sit. Okay, so I'm using the Surat Cheek Brush and the Shantakai Radiance Cheek, Cheek and Highlight Duo in Coral. And um, let's just add a little bit of the Coral Blush here. Okay, so just a light look. And then for the apples, I'm actually swirling the highlight with it. And I'm just gonna apply a little bit right here. And then I'm gonna use the Sonia G Mini Cheek Brush to get just a touch of the highlight for up here. Using a very light hand. Dab a little bit under the brow as well. Okay, so that's it for this side. I'm gonna go ahead and apply the blush to this side again. I do not have the Gucci powder here, except right here around my nose and mouth. And we're going to use it more as a finishing powder and see if there's any difference. Okay, so you can really see this side, um, you know, that's really got more of a satin look to it. Let's go ahead, I'm going back in with the Sonia G Master Face. I'm gonna just buff it into the left side. Okay. So right now you can see this side is definitely more matte. We'll let this sit and you can look at it. Um, but I did want to note, I have used this for a few days now, so I do have some thoughts on some different applications I've used it in. So I'll be going over that in a minute. Now, before we move on, I did also purchase one of the Gucci lip balms. I purchased the shade two, No More Orchids, and it comes with this really pretty packaging. So here it is. And let's put it here. So it's one swipe, and then if you were to build it up, it's a few swipes. Okay, so there's no real noticeable scent. It feels really nice and smooth on my arm. Let's try it on. So this is a really nice feeling smooth lip balm with a little bit of a tint. It's kind of like a, you know, it's a warm pink, maybe like a touch of peach in there, but it's really more of a warm pink than a peachy pink. And just a note, this um, packaging, you know, it is like enameled on the top and you've got this pretty gold tube with the striations down here. You've got the Gucci logo here. This is not magnetic. It is a click and i think it is really pretty so i'm excited to use this more let's as we've been saying here for a few minutes things have kind of had a chance to kind of meld with my skin a little bit so on this side where we used it as a setting powder and applied the blush and highlight on top you do have additional sheen from those products right here but if you look from here down where i have no other product you can see there is kind of a really nice satin luminous sheen to it it's kind of like, you know what? It looks like when you've got like pearl dust in the powders. It is not quite as pearly as that, but it's kind of like a very diluted form of that. So you do have a, a subtle radiance with that, even though it is matte. Now on this side that we use as finishing powder, you can see it really took everything down. It did not take away the color. I still have the color here. I still have a hint of the highlight, but it did make everything way more subtle and more matte looking. Now, as I mentioned, I have been using this powder for several days now, and honestly, I think one of my favorite ways to use it is to kind of mattify whatever I'm using. So, so I recently purchased the La Mer um, Radiant Skin Tint, and it's a very nice skin tint, but there is definitely some radiance, and if I apply enough to get any sort of SPF protection from it, 
then my skin is definitely super glowy. And I actually really like mattifying it with this powder. Now I have used it as a setting powder under the eyes um, as well, and I haven't had any creasing or anything like that. Um, no issues using it as a setting powder under the eyes. It's just not my preference. I actually prefer to use a blurring powder and this doesn't do that, but it does have a really nice finish to it. And honestly, I'm actually very impressed with this powder. The set, there is a very light floral set, but it's not, um, you know, it's not a bad scent. So I actually, I don't mind the scent and it's not strong enough for me to really notice while I am applying it or while I'm wearing it. So, you know, that was one of my biggest fears of this product because I had read some reviews online about other Gucci products where they were saying that the scent was overpowering. Thankfully, I do not find this to be overpowering. I mean, yeah, you're gonna smell it a lot if you stick your nose up to the product, but during a, a normal application, it's really pretty minimal. I don't really notice it. So another thing I wanted to mention about this product is that it is a mattifying product and it will definitely mattify whatever you have on. However, it's not going to have a dry powdery look to it. So once you give it a minute or two to kind of settle into your skin, you really do end up with like a luminous look to it and it lasts. So I have not had any issue with this powder not lasting through the day. I haven't had any issues with creasing or anything. I think it is beautiful. I love the sheen that I get from it. I have used it as a setting powder. I've used it as a finishing powder. Um, honestly, when I'm using all cream products, which I've been doing a lot recently, I like to set it after I put on my full face of makeup, basically with cream products. I set it with a light dusting of this Everything lasts all day and I'm, I've got that beautiful luminous satin finish. And I just think it is beautiful. One of the things that I really like about using it right now during the summer is, you know, I'm using sunscreen, quite a bit of sunscreen. And yes, I should use it all year, but you know, there are definitely days that I skip it throughout the year. During the summer, I'm much more vigilant about it and I also make sure I use more of it. So my skin always looks extra dewy and this really helps with that. So I personally really, really enjoy this product and I'm very, very impressed with how well this powder performed. I did not think it was going to perform this well and I'm very, very happy to say that I think it was worth the money. Just one more thing that I wanted to note was I personally don't like to use um, puffs on my face typically. I prefer using a brush, but if you do want to get more coverage, this puff is a great way to do that. And you can kind of like press it in and either roll it on, or if you're using it as a powder foundation, you can actually be a little bit, you know, less cautious about the roll up method. But that is a way to get more coverage from this, especially if you're gonna be using it as a powder foundation. Okay, so those are my thoughts on this product. I do really enjoy it. I am also enjoying this lip balm so far. I just applied it. I will be checking in with you guys throughout the day so you can see how well the powder holds up. And I'm gonna leave my face like this. So this one as a setting, this one as a finishing powder so you can see the difference. So I'll see you back here soon. Okay, so it has been about six and a half hours. The last three hours or so, I have been outside in the heat. Um, at the end there, I was in the shade, so it wasn't bad, but prior to that, I was definitely sweating. And I want to show you how the powder has held up. So this is the side where we use the powder as setting powder and then apply the blush and highlight on top. And with this side here, I used it as a finishing powder. And overall, I think both sides have held up well. I don't have like any issues around the eyes or anything. And you know, nothing's like sticky or tacky or anything. So this is also the lip balm. I applied it one other time um, throughout the day. So the initial application, then one additional time, and this is what is left. 
so it definitely comes off you know it's a lip balm so well drinking water and so forth that's pretty much where most of mine came off from but it does have a nice texture and I'm not sure if I'm gonna get around to doing another update so let me give you guys my thoughts real quickly on the lip balm so with the lip balm it does have more of a harder texture in the tube um, meaning I guess it's a little bit waxier feeling. So it goes on very smoothly. It's comfortable on the lips, but you feel like you're getting a light layer when you apply it. And um, the color is very nice and I'm really enjoying it. So overall, I think it's a nice lip balm and I haven't experienced any drying or anything at this point. I'll let you guys know in the future if, you know, my opinion changes, but so far it's a very nice lip balm. It's also Thank you so much for joining me today and I hope this video was helpful. If you like the video, please hit the like button, leave a comment down below in the comment field, subscribe if you haven't already, and share this video with your friends. I hope to see you guys in my next video and have a great day. Stay safe and healthy.